Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Michaela, and with my channel here on YouTube, my goal is to help you understand that you are not alone in your messes, and today I'm going to be talking about cast irons and how I use them and how I clean them. Now there's all kinds of cast irons, but I'm just talking about the conventional Lodge ones. Well, mainly Lodge is the brand that I use, I really like them, but they're not coated, they don't have anything too special about them, they're just plain old cast irons. So whether you've used cast irons all your life or you're looking for a reason to, I hope that this video gives you value and helps you understand a little more about cooking and caring for a cast iron. The first thing that I want to say about cast irons, um, I would say if you have never used a cast iron before, you might wonder why you would want to use one. And first of all, they're non-toxic. There's a lot of toxins in a non-stick pan. And so, first of all, non-stick non pans get scratched really easily and cast irons really don't. You can use metal utensils with them, which is a plus for me. I really like using metal utensils when I cook as well. It cooks really evenly. Cast iron pans, once you heat them up, they cook a lot more evenly than a non-stick. And iron, as an iron supplement, iron is best absorbed from natural sources. And cast iron is a good way to get that trace mineral into your body without doing supplements that are actually really bad for your health. You can get cast irons lots of places. I'm pretty sure that most of mine came from Walmart or um, estate sales or things like that. I actually have these flat pans and then I have a grill pan and I know they come in lots of styles and shapes and sizes, so I'm pretty sure if you're looking to use cast iron that, that you could find something that you like that would work for just about everything that you need. Whenever you first get a cast iron, most of them, at least the ones that I have bought, they come with a paper on them that say they've already been pre-seasoned and also how to season them again. But I did still want to go over this just in case. And also, even though they say they've been pre-seasoned already, I go ahead and season them. All I do is I put them on a stovetop burner, I make sure that they're fully dry and fully warm, and then I just use a little bit of Crisco on a paper towel. I know that lots of people use olive oil or avocado oil, and I think that is also great. I have found Crisco to work just as well for me. If I don't use too much, it doesn't leave any residue or anything like that. And then I turn off the heat once the oil has melted, and I let it cool off completely before storing it. I also do this before I cook with it for the first time, and whenever I cook with a cast iron, especially a new one, I preheat it empty on the burner onto whatever heat I'm going to be using, and then I use it as normal, just like a regular pan. I put oil in there. Sometimes um, things are non-stick. Sometimes if you have a pan that is fairly old or that you've cleaned enough or whatever, then it's not going to stick but I still do use a little bit of oil. Using a little bit of oil in your food helps continue the seasoning in the pan. And so things like meat and eggs are generally done when they don't stick to the cast iron anymore. But of course, this is case by case, how you like things done and what your pan, what the level of seasoning is in your pan. After you're done cooking with your cast iron, there is so many different ways to clean it. But what I have found is that I don't use soap unless I need to like there is some really stuck on stuff or I've cooked fish in it and I'd want to get that fish smell or taste out. So I don't use soap unless I need to. I use very hot water, soak it if I need to, and then clean while the food is fresh but while the pan is cooled off. And I use a steel, a patch of steel wool. There are many different ways, different things that you can use to clean as well, but I use steel wool. It keeps the cast iron smooth. It sort of scratches the surface and keeps it pretty smooth, even if you don't use soap. For me, using a steel wool keeps me from using soap when I shouldn't, because the soap strips out the oil and the seasoning that you have put into your cast iron. And so I try not to do that if at all possible. After you wash it, just dry it completely, and then you can also place it on a burner and then heat it to dry instead of drying it with a towel. Sometimes there'll be a little bit of dark residue in your pan. It's nothing that's harmful, it's just that oil, but it can kind of mess up your towels. So I just like to put it on the burner before actually drying it. And then you reseason it just like before. You can store your cast irons stacked in a cabinet or you can put them on display. I think a lot of people have a farmhouse style going on right now and cast irons are a really beautiful piece that you could put on the wall, but 
if they do end up getting rust or anything like that from being exposed to moisture, you could use either sandpaper and clean it really well or you could use steel wool and get that rust out. If you don't take proper care of your cast irons or if you've gotten them second hand or something like that, a tip to know is if you think you need to replace it, just look on it, see if there's too much rust to really salvage it or if it's a cast iron with a coating then I would say it was definitely time to replace it if the coating is coming off and getting into your food. That is not very good for your health, of course. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I mostly do cleaning videos right now because that seems to be in high demand, but I also would love to do these more specific videos if there was also a demand for them, so tell me what you think in the comments. If you like this video, 